So one of the things that we're really excited about is the, the whole idea of clean room. And what we're looking forward to is being able to uh, take a backup and a, and a few things, put together a checklist of items and take those into a clean room that's completely segmented out and recover the systems, the critical infrastructure that an organization needs. The moment we use ransomware protection, we are looking for scanning and also we are looking for anomaly detection. And even with clean room, clean room technology, when a company is uh, attached with a ransomware attack, we can provide them in a clean room that they can restore their data and clean their data from the ransomware uh, software. Over the last few years we have seen a tremendous investment in the addition of new capabilities inside of the software, threat-wise, uh, threat scan and risk analysis. More and more tools are coming to, to, to scan the environment, to scan the backup if it is ransomware detected. It offers a quite broad uh, of support for applications. It's a real, yeah, real large umbrella, yeah, all kind of workloads. So that's also quite unique still. With today's ransomware threats, you can get locked out easily, right? With an air gap system and a few small items in a clean room, we can test to see what your recoverability is. That offers you two things that I think are really important in today's age. One is it gives you confidence that you can do it, right? The first time you're gonna fail, you're going to fail. Well, would you rather fail when you're testing it or would you rather fail when you're, uh, you know, when it's cr mission critical and you're trying to get your, your, your organization back online? Number two is it gives you that, um, the, the speed, how fast can I recover? It gives you that confidence. And then lastly, and this is just an added benefit, you can go to your leadership and say, I am confident that I can recover our mission critical systems in X amount of time. I've practiced it. I know what I'm doing. Not too many people can say that today.